Hi, my name is Kevin Callahan. We're here in Ocean City, New Jersey, and I'm just not the proud new owner of a Devon, but the proud new owner of Devon Sports Car, LLC. I recently purchased that from four people in California. We have the 1,991 cubic inch four cylinder, and it sits on the original Triumph TR3 suspension. I found this 1970 E-Type saddle over cream jag at a local gas station shortly after my sister passed away from cancer. I decided to honor her legacy by buying it and doing a full restoration. It turned out great. It's now red over silver, as you can see, and a few upgrades along the way. Deleted the side marker lamps, added Willwood brakes, stiffer torsion bars, gas shocks, headers, and tricards. So give a listen. This 1951 European car is seldom recognized by people on the street and a surprising number of uh, car people don't recognize it. Um, has an air-cooled four-cylinder engine, boxer engine in the back, aerodynamically shaped, built by the Tatra Car Company, third oldest car company, in the world, I understand, and the model name is Tatraplan or T600, and it has a couple of partners in crime. Hello, I'm an industrial designer in Japan. I restored this 1933 Rolls Royce Phantom II with chassis number 9MW. My late father, who also founded the Classic Car Club of Japan, purchased this chassis in 1957. At the time of the purchase, the chassis had a custom truck bed body that was placed there due to a previous accident. Here's the full history timeline of the 9MW from when it was born in the crew factory in Cheshire, England. Here are a few of my design sketches as I was planning the restoration project. I designed the body with a slightly more modern flair, but at the same time trying to keep the essence of the original 1930s Rolls-Royce grace and style. I designed and constructed the new body by hand using GFRP, glass fiber reinforced plastic. Here's the restored interior, many parts of which were custom made by artists and craftsmen. And here of course is the engine compartment and the side view of the car. The restoration was completed around the year 2014. Thank you very much for watching and thank you to the Peterson Automotive Museum for this opportunity.
Kirby's a 1967 VW Beetle with heavy modifications, including a 383 stroker engine. He's a daily driver, lots of fun to drive. I'd like to send a big shout out to Peterson and Cars and Coffee. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. North Carolina, 1956 Plymouth Suburban station wagon. Color is seafoam green with white top. We painted it as original. The engine is a 1958 engine, 318. Producing 240 horsepower. The only changes that I made other than the engine or to add power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, and lap belts. I'm going to show you the interior. The engine's got less than 400 miles. Give a little, give a little hope. But this happy if it gets used. Yeah, you know? it's, it just it needs a little help. Yeah, right. Oh my gosh. So this is the car. It has my name on it. And then this is for you. We have to have you put your name on here. Cool. <laughs> I mean, it's a, I, you know, and I, had, I put it in the, in the car. So the, this is what they had at the, um, yeah, at your show. And then, uh, um, and I think, I think this is, the, this is the car. I mean, there was always the, that was the, I saw one guy um, who had a 540, um, and he, uh, um, well, the guy from Texas. I'm not sure. The main part is going out. Spiders. They're little ones, though. This is my 1962 Ford Falcon two-door sedan. It is a project car, and when it is completely rebuilt, it will be a recreation of the 1962 Falcon that I had when I was 20 years old. I built the car then with a 289, a Borg Warner T10, and a Mustang GT rear. Short story is that when I got my draft notice, I joined the Navy and went to boot camp. My younger brother, in the course of eight weeks and three days, managed to fundamentally destroy the car. So now when I have the opportunity, I bought this, and I'm going to turn it into my old Falcon, which will incidentally look something like this. Hi, my name is Barry Goldsmith, and this is my 2015 50th anniversary uh, Mustang Premium Coupe. It has the optional 19-inch tires on it, and it is in ingot silver. Uh, very low mileage car. We bought it new in 2015. It only has 11,534 miles on it. Um, it, is, it has the um, 50th anniversary trim package with it. 
and uh, as you can see by the trim on the back this announces that it is 50th anniversary the car has been a joy uh, it has great gas mileage we have uh, seen as much as 28 miles to the gallon on a trip to Canada with this car and uh, we very much enjoy uh, the car on long trips and uh, we uh, tend to keep the mileage down so that we can just enjoy this car as a special treat uh, when we uh, want to go on a long highway trip. The uh, car is fantastic uh, to drive with great acceleration and um, rewards everyone with uh, great looks. The tea is brewing. The scones are baking. The birds are tweeting. There's the Arduino that controls everything. The inverter built in over the basket that powers it. And this is all built into my car. This is peppermint my car. Hello Peterson Museum Cars and Coffee. This is Rick White from the Santa Barbara Woody Club and uh, Woody's getting a little work done on it today so I thought I'd bring my other red machine. She's a Ducati Multistrada. She's clocked at about 167 miles an hour. I'm clocked at only 142. So it's a great bike. I, I bought it in Italy. Well, I didn't buy it in Italy. That's a little bit of a lie. I rode it in Italy. I bought it here. And it's a great bike. And it's Italian, so it does weird things. Ciao, Riva Darci Peterson Museum. Hey, Peterson Museum Cars and Coffee. This is Pearl. My 2013 Scion FRS, I've had her about four years, and she has a little over 50,000 miles. Modifications include TRD springs, 17 by 9 Anki RFP1s, TRD intake, parent exhaust, carbon fiber drive shaft, and slotted front rotors. Hello, my name is Anthony, and I am the proud owner of a 1981 DeLorean DMC-12. The body consists of brushed stainless steel. This car is an earlier VIN and is complete with the front hood gas flap and dark gray wheels. The original PRV V6 engine has been outfitted with an aftermarket twin turbo kit designed just for DeLoreans. Thanks, Peterson, for the opportunity to let me share my dream. Take care. Our 1939 Packard 120 convertible coupe is a part of our family. And we've had the Packard since 1971. Uh, therefore, we're uh, excited to have 
of the Packard in our family room. Since 1964, I've attended most every national meet at Hershey, and in 1971, we bought our Packard at the Hershey meet, and it wasn't until this past year, 2019, that I felt the car was ready to be judged. Our Packard was awarded the National First Prize Junior Award, and we hope to get a senior in 2020 if the pandemic allows us to have a meet. My 2020 Triumph Street Triple RS. The RS is the top of the line Street Triple. For that you get Brembo brakes and Olin shocks. And I didn't realize it until recently. I went to Daytona and demoed a bunch of bikes. And uh, big difference in the suspension and braking. You, you get what you pay for. Um, the license plate is Scalpel. I, I traded my uh, 790 Duke uh, KTM in for this bike and I uh, couldn't be more happy. Still breaking it in and it, it's just amazingly smooth, fast, uh, easy to ride, compliant, um, a lot of good adjectives. <laughs> I happen to love the uh, Street Triple. I had a Speed Triple back in 99, a Mission Impossible bike, but this one really hits a sweet spot in terms of being light, maneuverable, great for the city. Um, uh, once it's in your blood, it stays there. I'm, I'm, I love driving my car too, but uh, riding is a whole nother experience. Have a good day. It's a 360 police engine with nitrous oxide. Hi, this is Chris from Great Falls, Virginia. This is my 2019 GT3 RS. My 1941 Buick Roadmaster four-door convertible looking almost original except for the wheels. It's a low mileage car with the original paint, complete original interior, leather interior, and uh, the dash and everything is still in very nice condition under the hood. Good afternoon, Peterson Automotive fans. My name is Chris. I'm from Westford, Massachusetts. I'm here to talk to you about my 2016 BMW M5 competition package. This car has 575 horsepower at the rear wheels, 630 horsepower at the crank. It'll do 0 to 60 in under four seconds and the quarter mile in under 12 seconds. It is the ultimate sleeper. 
has active seats, which will massage my butt while it does it. <laughs> we'll show you more on that maybe, but really this is what I wanted to talk to you about. This is my 1965 bucket list item. It is a 1965 Fastback Mustang 2 Plus 2, numbers matching, 289C code, with the top end rebuilt, Edelbrock manifold, Edelbrock manifold intake, headers, I don't have it dynoed yet, uh, aluminum radiator, we have done some considerable work, interior custom leather, tuxedo, black and white, four speed Hurst shifter on a top loader, and I'm gonna start this bad boy up for you. Custom interior in the trunk as well. See the pony? And out the back, the duels just coming down the back so you're not really sure if it's mean or not, unless it's running. So bear with me as I start it up real quickly. Oh, fumbling for the keys. She sounds pretty bad. Actually, I like to call it Jack. It's a tribute to my grandfather, Salvatore. His nickname was Jack. He had a 67 Mustang. I bought this 65 in his honor. Thank you again to Peterson Automotive. Please keep this up. Everyone stay healthy and safe. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click subscribe, comment, and like for more videos like this one.